local, quick, and to the point. WDEF News 12 this morning continues now. Good morning and welcome back. Well, if you were thinking of adopting a pet, but just maybe you haven't had time to look around, we've got some good news for you. News 12's teamed up with McKamey Animal Center in an effort to help you find the perfect companion. Joining me this morning from McKamey, we have Karen Walsh. And Karen, who do you have with you this morning? This is Moki. Oh my goodness. She's a lovely little hound mix and she is just on fire this morning, ready to play. <laughs> got a lot of energy. Yeah. What, what's the backstory on her? Um, she's a little stray that came in. Um, she's the only one. We have litters of other puppies at the moment, but she's by herself and she is just full of energy and ready to go to a home. Uh, definitely a sweet, sweet girl. Now you guys always have so much going on. Uh, coming up on the 5th, this is Tuesday the 5th, you've got your Yappy Meow. Is this the first right. one for this yes. year? Yes, first Yappy Meow of the year. We aren't going to do them every month this year. We've got so many other events going on as well yeah. that we thought we'll go every other month for Yappy Meowers. So if you'd like to come out and enjoy a happy hour evening with us at Yappy Meower, um, this one's going to be at the Social on the 5th. Oh, what a great venue. And these are always so much fun. So that's Tuesday, February 5th. Then mm -hmm. coming up on the 23rd of February, the big Scenic City Marathon 5K yeah. race. You, that's such a big event for you guys. It is. It's a lot of fun. We have a ton of runners that come out every year. We usually have the most runners and the most money raised every every year for the last three years. So we hope to get lots of support this year too. So how does that work? If someone wants to do this race, then they, they go and then they, they pick one of several charities, I guess, around right. the area. There's usually five charities participating and they pick one of the charities. They can log on and choose us and then they get to open a fundraising page and they get to raise money to help the animals. Like <laughs> Moki here. <laughs> It well, just will not chill. Hey, we're going to send, her, gonna send Moki straight to the uh, <laughs> obedience training class. Right. And I saw that you guys just had one of those, actually. Yes, um, there's obedience training classes available. And then also part of our volunteer program, you come in and you can learn more about animal handling for little pistols like Moki. <laughs> She's so much fun. Uh, also, um, you, you, I feel like you guys just have so much going on. I can't keep up. You just took in some of the stray cats that were involved uh, with a house fire. Now, this was, I guess, a hoarding situation. Yeah. Kind of a really sad situation, but you guys are always there, I feel like, just to help out. Well, it, yeah, it's a tragic situation. Um, People can get easily overwhelmed. Cats reproduce very quickly, and this person ended up with about 50 in their house. And then, very tragically, there was a house fire that cost most of those cats their lives. Um, we have 16 at the moment that are in recovery, and we're hoping that they'll be able to make a full recovery and, and then seek homes in a few weeks. Um, right now, we've had to put them in an isolated area in the center, and we're trying our best to see if we can help them recover. And with, with so many animals in and out of there, you always obviously need a big staff, and so you're actually looking to hire a few more uh, workers around there. What other positions open? Right. We're looking for a caretaker at the moment that helps care for the animals at the center, and we're also in the market for an adoption counselor, and that's the person who helps people choose the perfect pet for them. So if anyone wants to apply, what do they need to do? Um, they can log on to our website and pull a job application off of there and then send it in to us. Awesome. Well, Karen, thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks, thanks for bringing Moki. I think she finally settled down now that we're <laughs> almost ready to uh, wrap we'll speak too soon. things up here. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it. We're going to put some information up on the screen. If you'd like any information on McKamey and the wonderful animals there, you can always stop by and see them. Give them a call or head to their website. It's McKamyAnimalCenter.org. We're going to take a short break now. Stay with us. We'll be right back.